Welcome to the VMC Cloud Foundry Getting Started video. We're going to walk through getting started using the VMC command line tool. To start, we'll make sure we have the necessary prerequisites, which are Ruby. So you can do a Ruby v. You'll see we're running 1.87. This is the minimum version you'd want to run. Uh, you can see I'm running patch level 174. It works fine. You'll also want to make sure you have Ruby gems. And make sure that you have a fairly up-to-date version. You'll see I have 1.72. You can also, if you need to, do sudo gem update dash dash system. And you'll see that by doing gem update with system, you can ensure that you have the latest version of RubyGems installed. Next, you're going to want to do sudo gem install vmc. This will make sure that uh, you have the latest version of the vmc gem installed. Once you do, which you can see we have ours installed now, you're going to do vmc space target api.cloudfoundry.com you'll see we have successfully targeted then we're going to do login now it's important when you do login that you make sure that you use the same credentials that you signed up with at cloudfoundry.com before if you've not signed up at cloudfoundry.com you'll want to do so and get your password and email straightened out. So we'll go ahead and put in the credentials. We've now successfully logged into Cloud Foundry. And the next thing we're going to do is actually do something uh, as far as coding. So we're going to go ahead and, in my case, I'm going to create a directory. Change to the directory nothing in here. I'm going to go over here. This is a this is TextMate. You can use a text editor, whatever you'd like. I'm going to create a simple Ruby application. It doesn't have to be Ruby. Could be Node or whatever you like. I'm going to use Ruby. It's going to be a quick uh, four-line Sinatra app. I'm going to tell it when someone goes to the root web page to display hello from Cloud Foundry. I'm going to save that. We're going to go over here to this window. You'll see we have a hello.rb file now. Now we're going to issue the command vmc push. I'm going to accept the default. We're going to name this hello. Foundry. You can name it whatever you like. The application deployed URL, uh, this needs to be unique. If it conflicts with something that's already out there, then you won't get a successful deployment. This Sinatra, the defaults are fine. We're not going to bind services in this case. You'll see that it's pushing the app and it has started. So now what we're going to do is bring up our web browser and we are going to go to hello cloud foundry dot cloud foundry dot com and there we have hello from cloud foundry now what we can do is go over here add and vmware save that I'm going to go over here and do vmc update hello cloud foundry you'll see that it's stopping Starting the app, we'll bring our web browser back up to refresh, and you'll see we have the and VMware. So it's as easy as creating an app and pushing it up, and to refresh your changes, it's as easy as doing a VMC update. There's lots more to learn. This was the Getting Started Guide. For more information, visit www.cloudfoundry.com. Thank you.